Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to duplicate this and they want equal spacing of white behind the black and they're having trouble duplicating it and uh, getting it in the right position. So let's just get that out of the way. What he's doing, he's putting a six-sided polygon, making it two inches. And then he's taking a smart field, well, take a ellipse, make an ellipse and hit P. Let's put them both in the center of the page. I'm going to hit F4 on the keyboard and then everything comes up. And then what he's doing, he's filling this in and he's, he's going to like 2.1 nudge and he's control D and, and making a duplicate. That's pretty easy. But when you make a duplicate of these and try to put them in here, there's nothing to snap to. It's snapping to the corners. So you just can't do it. So the best thing to do, or I know of, is when you're doing this, take your outside, let's make sure it's ungrouped. And it is. Take your polygon, Go up to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the inside, 0 0.05. And then you don't have to, but I'm going to break it apart. I'm going to take my smart fill tool and now fill that in. And I'm going to group this together, control G. Now I've still got my nudge factor set on two inches and I'm going to do this. We don't need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and group this together. Control D to duplicate it. And then when you do that, get that four sided cross and you've got something to snap to. Now you could go Control D, but it's going to keep going downhill. So what I do is Control G to group, Control D to duplicate, and then just come straight down. And then when you Control D again, it'll make as many as you want. Now you have those lines, but if we take those lines away, by right-clicking no outline, then these things are equally spaced apart. Pretty cool idea. Let's uh, let's group this together, Control-G. Let's, uh, holding down the Shift key, double-click on the rectangle tool and make a box. Let's go ahead and move our box out of the way, and let's make it blue. Let's fill it in with blue, take away the outline, and nudge it back. And then go to object, order, back of page. And then you have what other, whatever color you want behind there. I mean, you can have uh, yellow, green, dark blue, light blue, whatever orange, whatever color you want. And everything's spaced out. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.